Alright guys, welcome back to the Jupiter PC Repair Channel. Today we're going to go over some of the key points in the Lenovo Vantage program. Uh, this is actually a video that was requested by Richard Stolk. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, uh, but thanks for the idea. I think uh, there's a lot of good things that you can uh, do with the Lenovo Vantage program and a lot of people just don't know about it. Uh, for example, I had a comment also um, from just climb 77 now I have to figure out how to get this damn keyboard light working right um, well if you're watching you'll be able to see that in the Lenovo Vantage video as well uh, your lighting profiles are right here let's go ahead and go over that you can have three profiles saved and set up all you have to do is go into customize and it's pretty self-explanatory once you get here you can have a wave from left to right uh, smooth transition between colors then you can have breath and static and on breath and static um, you have a little bit more options here because you can divide the areas and pick your colors you have um, altogether 16 million color combinations um, that you can have and this divides it into four different sections here you can change the colors of all sections and then also um, on static breathe is off obviously it breathes it goes dim and gets brighter <clears throat> and then um, on static you just have static colors and you can change the brightness whether you want it dimmer or brighter um, so hopefully that answers your questions on the, the lighting um, and you can get some more information on the lighting effects right here unfortunately uh, the Lenovo Vantage lighting customize your lighting settings only works for the Lenovo Vantage keyboard um, if you have any external devices like I have a Steel Series mouse and a 40% or 50% gaming mechanical keyboard plugged in and those lighting effects have to be uh, controlled through either those devices or the programs for those devices such as the St Steel Series program and a lot of this is self-explanatory you can get some basic info on your processor your memory storage devices and a lot of uh, helpful content over here backup and restore how to reset Windows 10 now you can't reset Windows or backup Windows through the Lenovo Vantage program all this is is a resource area that will walk you through instead of having to go online and search for that information just some tutorials and a good information resource area alright so let's go into some of the less self-explanatory things I'm gonna go over like I said I'm not going to go over everything in here if you guys have any other questions that I don't cover feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will make sure I get back to you the key points I want to touch on is thermal mo mode I have mine set up to performance you boost your computer performance with higher fan speed and power consumption uh, you'll have higher performance but of course your machine is gonna be louder but this will keep your temperatures down when you're doing some things with the laptop, say gaming or running other intensive programs, uh, you can also balance that out. Your computer will kind of detect when it needs to uh, give you a boost. Say if you turn on a game, it'll give you a power boost and turn your fans on. And you can also have it in a quiet mode if you are somewhere just trying to do some basic work on the computer, the laptop, and you don't want it to sound like you're running a jet engine on your lap and you can automatically switch to performance mode when launching games down here I just keep mine on performance mode because I'm always running some pretty demanding programs at all times when I'm using my computer and then going down to network boost here this will automatically prioritize any games that you have and I just added one program down here so you guys can see uh, you can also say if I'm running my studio or editing software while I'm having a game it's not going to push this app into the background or any app that you want to add in here it will prioritize that with your game so you can have a choice on what gets pushed in the background like if you have twitch or discord you might want to add those in so that you can still use those programs and it doesn't prioritize the game over over those as well if you need those while you're playing um, and then auto close here is another cool feature if you have any programs that you want to automatically shut down when you're running a game you can add them in this area and hybrid mode and touchpad lock is not applicable to my specific 
device because I don't have a touch screen. I can't use it as a tablet. The system tools down here can go through and update. A lot of this is just self-explanatory, but we will go into the power mode. You can check your battery. This is really good to see, you know, what kind of condition your battery's in. You can also see some information here. You can turn on rapid charge, which is going to hurt your lifespan. But if you are in a pinch and you need to have a full battery, you have to leave the house in 30 minutes and you're going to need to bring your laptop with you and you won't have anywhere to charge it. That's an option that you can always go in, turn on when you plug it in. Conservation mode, I do recommend this will ex extend the lifespan of your battery and your device uh, because I keep mine plugged in all the time, so it's only going to charge it to 50-60%. It's not going to continuously charge the battery while it's plugged in all the time. Like I said, if you have a 100% battery and you have it plugged in and it's still trying to charge your battery, you're going to you know, hurt the lifespan, decrease the lifespan of your battery and then you'll be stuck unable to use your laptop of course without having it plugged in and nobody wants that you'll have to replace the battery it's really easy to do with this device but it's not something that you want to have to do and you can find some other information info you can also go here and see if you have a warranty how many days in your warranty you have remaining dolby down here this is another pretty cool options here you can um, change your your audio preferences for gaming or whatever you may need it to do if you have any external you know surround surround system hooked up or you're using any kind of other external devices but most of it's pretty self-explanatory so we went over thermal mode network boost auto close what hybrid mode and touchpad lock do even though i can't use them with my device some people have devices that they can use those with but it is self-explanatory like i said and that's pretty much it that i wanted to go over some really good resource information you can check out you know how much of your memory or storage you're using disk space some really good resources if you need to reset your your device or if you want to know something more about your operating system but the main things are boosting your performance here with the network boost for better gaming performance better cooling performance and how to you know auto close programs so that you can get a better performance when you're when you're gaming and then we went over of course the lighting profiles that you can save and customize for your keyboard okay that's pretty much all I think I want to go over in this video everything else is self-explanatory if you guys need any other information feel free to comment in the comment section down below I'll be sure to get back to you don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.